Hello everyone, it's Red Trash and welcome back to another Transformers G1 review. Continuing on with the Micro Masters theme, this is the Micro Master Combiner Squad, uh, Combiner Constructor Squad even, released by Hasbro in 1990. And these were some of the last Micro Masters ever released in the Hasbro, in the Transformers US toy line anyway. Uh, we're not counting, well, yeah, not counting the Japanese stuff, which are pretty cool. So they, they're not the last internationally, but they're definitely the last. These came out. They're definitely last the US market, the uh, the, combine, the Micro Master Combiners. There are only two per faction, two Autobot, two Decepticon. And I don't have many more of them. This is the only complete Micro Master Combiner squad I have currently. Uh, the other, the second one, the second most complete one I've got, and not by much, is these two guys from the Metro squad. Uh, Wheelblaze and Roadburner. These are an Autobot squad. As you can see, they're quite loose. I'm probably going to replace that one. I not seem missing the little crane thing that should attach there. Bit of a shame. And I do have on the battle squad a power punch, but it's missing the cannon, and I don't have the front, which is called direct hit. So I don't have many more Micro Master Combiners at the moment. I do have the battlefield headquarters though, which is new in completion now. So I'll probably do a review on that next. And I do have the Micro Master Combiners transports, the missile launcher and the cannon transport. Uh, with which these guys were redecoed uh, out of all the Micro Master Combiner squads. They chose these guys to redeco for, for the Micro Master Combiner transports. Two of them, two of these larger vehicles were redecoed as Autobots. This one and this one. And this one retained its allegiance as a Decepticon, but we'll obviously all new characters and everything. It's quite interesting that they chose the Constructor Squad to be redecoed for the Micro Master Combiner transports and not in the others. But these are some of my favourites. And they took, and it was a nightmare to find these because if you've been following the channel recently, you would have realised, you would have known that I recently managed to pick up the back here, knockout, and that has finally completed this set at last because I managed to get these back in 2020, the other five. Though this guy came with a whole other set of constructor squad, which I've now merged together to form a better set and sold off the others. But originally, my first five of these. I got back in, uh, back as part of a MicroMaster lot for £90, which included the MicroMaster Combiner Cannon Transport redecos of this guy, the Sledge and Hammer, so that was a pretty cool lot, and it came with a lot of others as well, I think the Hot Rod Patrol was in there as well, so a lot of good, a lot of great rare MicroMasters, none of them complete though unfortunately, for the most part, I'm still missing one of those as well, uh, Greaser, anyway right, so these are some of my personal favourite Micro Masters, and I really like the uh, Cannon Transport versions of these, and the Missile Launcher versions of these. I really like the re decos they had for these two. I haven't got this one, because it comes with the Tanker Truck, and I don't have that one at the moment. But I do have the Autobot and the Septicon Micro Master Combiner Transport re decos of these guys. And they look pretty cool in those colours as well. Anyway, right, so from left to right we've got Stone Country and Excavator, which is the Crane Truck. We've got Sledge and Hammer, which is the Dump Truck. And we have uh, Grits and Knockout. Another interesting name, because Knockout is a name they've obviously reused a lot in modern times. Transformers Prime. That might actually be it. But anyway, obviously it's more iconic, used for more iconic character now. And they are a backhoe truck. They look really cool, but we're going to start out with Stone Cruncher and Excavator. It's a pretty menacing name, that one. And they are this crane truck, unfortunately. Now, my original one was missing this, so that's another thing to look out for. And these guys were a pain to find, as, I, as I've said before. So, it was, yeah. So, these are definitely among the rare Micro Masters to get. Definitely the harder ones to find, especially with this piece. And uh, another thing to look out for is loose arm joints and everything, which is why I had to swap some of mine over for this set that I picked up with this guy. So now I have a better set. Unfortunately though, the crane is still kind of loose. It does hold, kind of, but it does want to just come down sometimes. I think it can... Yeah, you can raise it to there, but... I don't know, it kind of stays in place. Anyway, it's pretty cool, because as you can see, it moves around and everything. But this is an easy gloss piece, unfortunately. And this crane at the back here is a lot stiffer. Definitely less likely to loosen up, but it doesn't do a lot. Looks pretty cool though. And overall, the detail on these is pretty nice. Yeah, it's a cool vehicle. Quite like the front of it there. So, Stone Cruncher is the front and Excavator is the back. And these came carded as six MicroMasters. They came carded like this as three separate larger vehicles, each of which are made up of two MicroMasters each. And the whole point of MicroMaster combiners being, as you can see, you can split them apart and they connect with these pegs. 
like so. So it's not your typical combiners. They did do that later on in Operation Combination, where they actually released actual MicroMaster combiners, five robots that combine the form of six robots that combine the form of a large robot. But this is a different take on the concept. And it's pretty cool. And of course, what that means is you can swap out these. So if you take this one, it's a bit stiff. So you can attach it to this one, and it works with these two, but it doesn't quite work with the dump truck. That's a bit silly. As you can see, the colours don't match, but the cranes and the grey plastic do. It kind of works. Some of them work better than others, though. It's an interesting concept overall. I quite like it. But again, a bit silly with this one. Alright, anyway, so let's split them apart. And these two work quite well with separate vehicles, so that's good. And we're going to start at the front, which is Stone Cruncher. So to transform it, what we're going to do, lift up the arms. Like so, kind of stiffen that, oh, that doesn't sound very good, you have to, it's a bit of a pain again, a bit like Motorhead if you've seen my racetrack patrol video, a bit of a pain getting the legs out on that one, and same, so, same with this one, and you can see we're revolving this part round to form the legs, a very typical MicroMaster, combine, MicroMaster transformation there, he's got good arms though, and I really like the look of this guy, he's got a great head sculpt, however, they haven't picked out the face very well, as you can see, it kind of blends in there, the colour they've used kind of blends in with the orange, as you can see, it's got like a mainly orange and uh, yellow colour scheme going on here, which looks really cool, really striking, but the head detail is kind of lost because of the red paint they've used, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but it's a pretty cool head sculpt, I like the detail on it, again, I really like these Mikey Monsters, they're some of my favourite Transformers. Definitely one of my favourite gimmicks uh, that they've did for Transformers. This is definitely up there. Uh, it's good detail in the hands there. It's a bit strange, but there's a hole there. But he's got good arms on this one, pretty cool. Uh, the legs aren't doing much though, and I think with this piece you can rotate this up. I'm not entirely sure. You can't. Oh, you can, actually. You can revolve this round anyway. I thought this might stop it, but it doesn't. Oh, it stops it from going that far. You can have it up here, like that. Or you can have it down there like that. I'm actually not sure which way it's supposed to be, to be perfectly honest. Let's see what the official, the official way is. But I do want to get it exactly how Hasbro has it on the packaging. Okay, it's quite interesting really. I'm glad I looked at this because the artwork shows it, the box art shows it there, but the instructions show the crane facing up above his head, uh, over his head. So that's quite interesting. I guess it's personal preference really. I like doing that. Maybe because I thought it'd be back heavy without, with it pointing up. I'm not totally sure to be honest, if we'll try it in a moment. Yeah, and that's... Most people seem to have it like this, and that's how I have it. But you can do this as well if you want to. It gives them a bit of a different look. And he stands up just as well. Though because it's loose, it kind of falls at the back there, so it doesn't quite work on my one. But it does stay in place. All right, anyway, so let's just do that. There we go. And I quite like it. Pretty cool MicroMaster. So that is Stone Cruncher, the first of the six. Good value, if you ask me, getting six in the pack. Oh, it's just showed what his, what his head looks like. Anyway, this is Stone Crunch uh, Excavator. I really like the detail in there. Got all these ridges and stuff. Pretty cool. Nice detail on the crane as well. Right, so the transformer. It's a bit of a pain once again. I think we have to move the arms out again on this one. No, I don't think we will. There we go. It's quite stiff in there. But again, this whole part just folds out. And snaps into place to form the legs. Not much blockier legs this one. And then let's move him up a bit and then bring out his arms. It's a bit loose on the arms. And this one, this is excavator in robot mode. And they've done a much better job at picking up the paint on his face, as you can see. Uh, the white definitely works a bit better there against the purple than it did than the red on the orange for this guy. I still really like the I like the red paint but it doesn't pick up his face very well. But this guy has done a much better job paint, picking out the, the face detailing. Uh, he's got holes in his arms again, which is quite interesting. But 
He's got good articulation in the arms. That's about it. You're getting with this guy, but he looks really cool. And with this one, you do have to have the crane pointing over, like so. I mean, yeah, it makes more sense up there. And that is how they have it. So there you have it. That is Excavator. Pretty cool. So those were two two good MicroMasters so far. So now we come on to the next one, which is Sledge and Hammer. The front is Sledge and the back is Hammer. I think it's a bit loose there. And this one is like a dump truck, classic, homaging like the uh, Constructicons. Constructicons, that was a weird way of saying it. So very Decepticon vehicle mode going on here. Pretty cool. And now if we split these, got nice wheels and everything, nice detailing, got nice blue paint at the front there, look at the grill. Now, I have a problem on with this. Uh, on my cannon transport, these parts, when you, these form the legs, and there's a massive gap. So these parts can get bent out of shape, because that's how my cannon transport redecor this guy, uh, cement head and terror tread are. You know, on, on that one, this when this guy transforms the front section, and the green redeco of this, it's really bent out of shape. The legs are much further apart than they should be, so that's something to watch out for on this front piece. Uh, yep. I also found a stress mark on this one, the one I swapped. So that's quite, on the one I sold, so that's quite interesting. There's like a bit of plastic here, which is a lighter color. Don't know how that happened. Maybe it's because you, know, you pull it apart. It's quite stiff on this one. My other one never used to be this stiff. And you can see it's pulling apart like the leg there. It's quite, I don't know what happened there. It's definitely not coming apart. There we go. And now these two work quite well with separate vehicles as well. And Sledge and Hammer, the names go together as well. Pretty neat. This guy is probably my favourite of the whole set, so I'll come to him last. It makes more sense anyway, because he's the, he's the back. So, uh, yep, he's the front. So to transform it, what we do is we revolve this section round like this. And then what we do is we get the arm, get the legs even. So yeah, the front becomes the legs. And it just folds out like so. It's a bit, a bit loose on this one. All right, it's a bit tired. Yeah, as you can see, on this one, the legs aren't too bad, but on my current transport, you know, on Cement Head, which is the current transport we deco for this guy, these legs are a lot further apart. There's a massive gap here. The gap is much larger, so a bit concerning. How that happens, it's almost like it got bent out of shape now. So that might be something to watch out for, but there it is, that is um Sledge in robot mode. It's got good arms, pretty cool. The head's got it's nicely picked out there with orange paint. It, it works well against the yellow, as you can see there. We do have a copyright as well. Um let's have a look. Where is it so just see it says Hasbro there. I think it's just 89 on this one, which is quite interesting. It's the year before it was released. Some do say 90. My battery headquarters says 90 on it, but this one says 89, so these must have been in development but earlier than that. Which would make sense, because that's a larger placer. Uh, right, so I quite like this guy, it's pretty cool, but not as much. You know, it's got good arms, and you know, the legs can kind of do something as well, so that's pretty good. But I don't like him as much though as this guy. This is my personal favourite out of the whole set. This is Hammer, again, pretty cool, vehicle mode. It kind of roll, not too well though. And then, to transform it, the back, or well, the front folds down to form the legs. And now he looks really cool. I mean, you bring out his arms. I absolutely love the look of this guy. I think he's got one of the best MicroMasters I've ever seen. Really love the head sculpt, it's fantastic. It's phenomenal, it's incredible. And uh, as you can see, they paint out the the head quite. They picked they picked out the head quite well with the uh, yellow paint used. It's got good arms in this one. The legs also have a bit more to them, so that's pretty good. But I just absolutely love the head sculpt in this guy. I think I think it's absolutely fantastic. If we can get it to zoom in, get the focus. Like, he just looks absolutely incredible. This is a really fantastic looking Hydra Master. He's definitely my favourite of the Constructor Squad. I just think he looks looks as awesome as he looks awesome as anything. I love the head sculpt and everything. There's some great detailing on the chest, but that head sculpt is fantastic. A brilliant figure. Really love this one. 
stands up quite well as well. So that's two of the four, that's two of the vehicles done. And now we come on to grit and knockout, which is the back hood truck. More noise now. Anyway, that's unfortunate. So the front is grit and the rear is knockout. Split it apart again. I didn't do this on the last one, I think. Let's just give you a better look at the vehicle move there. Pretty cool. And the only thing that really does anything is the, the crane at the back there. So, there you go. Split it apart, like so, with those connectors. And then we come to the front here, which is grit. It's pretty cool. I like the grill and the, the excuse me, the blue paint on it. That's a nice detailing on it. This could work. There's a separate vehicle mode, and so look at this. So that's pretty cool. Right, so the transformer, what we do is again, fold out the back this time to form the legs. And there we have it. And then we bring the grill, and it goes right to the back. And then bring out the arms. And this is grit in robot mode again. Another cool looking figure. I really like this one. Another great looking Micro Master. The head sculpt. Yeah, the head sculpt. Yeah, the paint. Again, they picked out the paint well there. They used a, they used a, a good colour anyway to pick out the, the face sculpt. Yeah, they used a good colour for the head sculpt. So it doesn't blend in like it did on the Stone Cruncher back there. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good figure. I like this one. Again, good arms. The legs aren't going to do a lot though. Um, if we can figure, if we can uh, focus on the head sculpt, he looks pretty cool. I like him. So there we are. Again, great detail on the chest as well. Right, let's put them over that. Put them all in at the end, and then finally we come to knockout. The last, the, the one that I had. The one I've had for the least amount of time. Uh, it's pretty cool though. Quite like all the textured detailing in there. That's pretty neat. Uh, not much else going on apart from that though. Some detailing on the inside here, which I didn't have to do. So that's pretty cool. And there's the port to attach it. This piece goes up and down. And there we have it. All right, so the transformer. Fold out the front. This part just goes there. And then you bring out his arms. His arms aren't as good as some of the others. But he looks pretty cool as well. I quite like his head sculpt too. And again, there's another successful little MicroMaster. I quite like it. Uh, is that picking up today? Let's have a look. Is it focusing? There we go. Let's try and see if I can get the head to show up a bit better. It's not really picking it up too well. There we go. Yeah, I quite like the I quite like what he did there. Pretty cool. And you can see his arms are well his hands are kind of hidden inside these parts. It's a bit of a shame. He doesn't look as good. The arms his arms aren't as good as the rest. But I do quite like overall quite like his robot mode. He's got like this scorpion stinger thing going on. Pretty cool. And the colours are quite nice as well. So this has been the Transformers G1 Micromaster Combiner Constructor Squad. Overall, a great squad. I really like these guys. Some great MicroMasters here. These are definitely some of my favourites. Especially this guy. He's, out of all these, he's my favourite one. He just looks so cool. Now, let's try and see if I can get them in shot here. So he was the front. He's the back. Right, let's just see if I can... Right, I think we've done it. Oh, seems a bit, seems a bit weird, doesn't it? Don't know what's going on here. This guy, he tends to kind of lean backwards. It's a bit of a shame. Yeah, he, he does, oh, he's fell over. It's fun. They do tend to fall over if you're not careful. Do you move around too much? Yeah, he's kind of leaning forward. Unfortunately, that guy. And there you have it. This has been tr the Transformers G1 Micro Monster Combiner Constructor Squad. Definitely pick these guys up. These are really cool. They're definitely a great addition to your collection. Definitely on the rarer side, though. And, uh, well, that's, this has been Retroaction with the Transformers G1 Micromaster Combiner Constructor Squad. And we'll carry on with the Micromaster Combiner theme with some of the Micromaster Combiner transports next. Right, it's been Retroaction. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.